Welcome back to the Sanders Kitchen. I'm so glad you can join me today for a great recipe called barbecue shrimp. Yeah, don't go off thinking that barbecue shrimp has barbecue sauce in it because it does not. But I'm not going to go into the history and tell you all about who started barbecue shrimp. Who cares? Guess what? We're going to make it today, and it's going to be wonderful. So we have a pound of golf shrimp. Now, shrimp in our area are not in season yet for local shrimp. That's why these shrimp don't look the same. But they're good. So we have a host of ingredients. So let me run you through them real quick. We have onion, bell pepper, celery, parsley, garlic. We have lemon, Worcestershire sauce, crab boil, a little flour, some green onion tops, plenty butter, and I think that's a wrap. So we're just going to put it all together. It's really easy. And then we're going to eat up some barbecue shrimp. Well, I got all excited. I forgot to tell you we had white wine and and French bread, <laughs> but you've got to have those two extra ingredients. Okay, well the French bread, we don't use that until, until last. So I got my skillet warming up, and we're gonna go ahead and put in the butter. We're gonna melt that butter down. And along with the butter is two tablespoons of olive oil. There we go. We'll let that butter melt so it takes a minute or two we won't bore you we'll come right back when the butter's all melted down so now that our butter is melted we'll add in the onion we have onion bell pepper oops celery We have a little, I'm just going to add in some parsley, not all of what I cut, like about that much, and the two toes of garlic. And we'll just mix that in. And we'll let this saute for three minutes. And then it should be nice and soft by that time, and we'll continue on with our recipe. It's been a few minutes. The veggies are sauteed nicely. So the next thing we're going to do is add in a tablespoon of flour. You know, look, it doesn't hurt to, to make your sauce a little bit thicker. I mean, you're not looking for a thick gravy, but a nice little thicker sauce, please. That's the way I like it. Okay, so now that we've added that in and mixed that in well, we're going to go in with a few liquid items. Some Worcestershire, no, it's Worcestershire. That's how we call it, Worcestershire sauce. And then a little crab oil, not much more than a teaspoon. Some lemon, freshly squeezed. I didn't want to bore you with showing you how to squeeze a lemon. And uh, we're gonna go in with, this is about a cup and a half of white wine. Before we put the shrimp in, we're gonna let this wine come back up to boil, but in the meantime, um, let me grab this tablespoon measure here. And we're gonna put in two tablespoons of a very popular southern shrimp seasoning made by River Roads. Hey, they don't pay me to say this, but great stuff not really salty, okay? That's what I like about it. So we'll add in a little bit more parsley, mix that together. I'm gonna add in a little bit more wine, about that much, but I'm putting it all in. I'm just adding a little bit at a time. And now we're going in with the shrimp because these shrimp have got to cook. So we're just gonna Put all these little babies in here, all these cute little golf shrimp. 
well, caught in the fisherman's net all the way out there just so they could come in a Sanders kitchen and get eaten up by Mike and Pam. <laughs> And Leanne, our friend Leanne is here. You know, I forgot to show you something. It just slipped my mind, but I didn't put this one in. Give me, well, that's okay. I will show you what we normally do. And I didn't do it, doggone it, because I forgot. But I'm going to show you. I'm going to put this right over for the overhead camera to see. There's a barb right here. And I'm going to cut that barb off. There's a spike on the tail. And I'm going to cut that off. And if you can see the, usually the whiskers are real long. And I'm going to cut those off too on this one. And that's what we normally do. We usually trim them. And I totally let that slip. But it's not going to stop me from eating these shrimp. I'll tell you that. So here we are. We have the shrimp simmering. I'm going to add in the rest of that white wine. And now I'm going to take the lid and put that right on and let that simmer for about a minute. And then we'll take the lid off and we'll stir it around a little bit. What we're looking for is the body of the shrimp to separate from the shell. As soon as we see that happening, we're turning the fire off. We're going to let them cool off a little bit before we eat them because it'll be done. So give us a couple of minutes to show you how this looks. Well, it's time to flip them. Move that hot lid out of the way. And we'll just give these a little flip. You know, one of the most important things about barbecue shrimp is flavor. It's not just, you know, how to cook the shrimp. And what really gives it a lot of flavor is butter. But we don't want to overdo the butter, but we do want to put a good amount in. So we had a total of about five tablespoons. That's what that's what's this is going to be. And then a little extra lemon. And we'll just flip all these little shrimps over and we'll cover them back up. And we'll let them cook for a little while longer. You know, when Frank and I were cooking these, I'm talking about Frank Davis, he would always tell me, now cover, cover them up, put the lid on, bring them back up, bring the heat back up a little bit, and then let's just wait a minute before we go back and stir them again. And that's how he did it until there was enough minutes that went by and then you would check your shrimp and make sure that they were cooked. And when the bodies are separating from the shell, you turn it off, you're done. But that's gonna happen shortly and we'll be eating some barbecue shrimp. So give us a minute. All right, let's throw in a little bit more parsley. And we'll kind of let that cook in just for another minute. And we're going to turn them off and they're done. Now we are going to let them cool. Sometimes it's hard to tell if the, if the hull of the shrimp has pulled away. But you know what? You don't want to overcook them. So, you know, after a, a few minutes of cooking the shrimp, you know, and they're nice and red, you just, you know, they're cooked. So you have to turn it off. But it's okay. We're going to turn it off, which we just did. And we're going to let it cool. For a couple of minutes, we're going to plate it up and show you how delicious this really is. Come on, storm it outside before we lose electricity. All right. Come on, pop off. It is raining like crazy, so before the electricity goes off, let's plate this thing up. So we're going to put a few pieces of French bread down like that. And, oh, those shrimp. Woohoo! I cannot wait to show you this. So here's the secret. You just take and drizzle some of this goodness. See, that's what you want. You want uh, onions, bell pepper, celery, parsley, garlic. You want all of that on the bread. And then you just want to come on top of the bread with, with the shrimp. All right. So 
we got the plate loaded with shrimp. The sauce is being sopped up by the bread. We're just going to throw on a few green onion tops. Look at that, how pretty. And I mean, look at that. That is like gorgeousness, if that's a word. And then we'll take a little bit of lemon, give it a little sprinkle like that, and it's time to dig in. So I'm going to go ahead and go for it. Oh, oh I don't know about that. It's so hot. Smoking hot. Mm. That's the first thing you have to do. You have to suck all the juice out. And then you peel off the shell. Mm -hmm. And then you take a piece of bread that's got all the goodness on it. Mmm. 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 I'm in heaven. That is some good stuff, y'all. Well, I got to tell you, this is one great recipe. Easy to do. Just get all your prep work done ahead of time, and it will be fast and easy, you know. And if you really want to show off, you could take some lemon slices and just kind of garnish it a little bit extra with that before you put it on the table in front of all your guests. Beautiful display. Tastes great. Go get you some New Orleans barbecue shrimp this weekend. You'll love it. And by the way, if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you don't really understand what the subscription is, let me explain. It just means that YouTube will be able to find our cooking videos for you a little faster. Subscription is not charged. There's nothing billed to you to hit the subscribe button. It's free. So hit the subscribe button on the Sanders Kitchen. We really would appreciate that. Have a great weekend and God bless you.